Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be providing you the solution of our Arcade Base Camp August 2024's first lab, which would be the working with JSON arrays and structures in BigQuery. This lab is not required to complete. It's just a terms and condition lab. You can simply go and read the terms and condition. It's not uh, playing any role in getting the Arcade Batch. Okay, so if you want lab, you can skip it. But uh, if you have terms and condition, you have to open it and read it. You have to read the terms and condition. It's very important for the Arcade point of view. Okay, now before jumping in the lab, I want to simply inform you that I already uploaded the solution of the whole Arcade Trivia Week 1. So you can then access the playlist of this uh, solution from the link in the description you will get playlist link in the description and if you haven't completed the trivia yet then do it because this week ke Monday you will get the trivia over ho jayega, okay? so make sure you complete this labs and now coming back to the main point which is the first lab working with JSON arrays and structure in BigQuery so open this lab very quickly click on the start lab button wait for the credentials to be loaded these credentials are required to log in into our Google Cloud platform so first of all, we will copy the password. This is the password. So click on this copy button to copy the password. Now right click upon open Google Cloud Console. Open it in incognito window. It's important to open it in incognito mode only. Click on the next button. Paste the password that we just copied. Hit enter. Click on I understand button. And we are logged in into our Google Cloud platform. Okay. So first of all, we need to accept a terms and condition. A pop-up will arise here. Click on checkbox, click on agree and continue. Now we need to activate our cloud shell to run the following commands. So first of all, click on this top right corner to activate cloud shell. And while it's stabilizing the connection with the cloud shell, first of all, click on the continue. While it's stabilizing the connection, simply go to the description of this video. You will find the link of my GitHub repository. Uh, once you click on that link, you will be redirected to this page. From here, you need to copy these commands uh, all in one go. So simply click on this copy raw file button, copy this. Come back to here, click on the got it button and simply paste it and hit enter button. That's it. That's all you need to do. Click on the authorize button and in a couple of minutes or in one minute, it, uh, the execution of this uh, file would be done. And once the execution would be done, your lab would also get completed. You have to file execute karne hai, and that's it. Ek -ek karke aapko sabhi show visible hoga that task 2 completed, task 3 completed. In the similar manner, all the tasks would get completed automatically. So wait for a couple of minutes. In that time, what you can do? Simply like the video, hit the subscribe button so that you will get the instant notification of all the videos that I will be uploading in the future. I will provide all the labs that I will be easy possible way. It's the easy possible way. Pe. Okay, you can see our uh, uh, command is now run successfully. We can simply come back to here, open our lab, scroll down, start from the task number one and uh, one by one get the green tick on the check my progress. You don't need to submit these answers. It's uh, not required. Simply get the green tick on check my progress buttons. Click on check my progress, you will get the green tick here. Similar way, scroll down, keep scrolling. Click on check my progress. Avoid these submit questions, okay? Simply get the green tick for check my progress. Scroll down, keep scrolling, get the check my progress for the task number 4. You will get the green tick here. Scroll down for the task number 5. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Yes, click on the check my progress. You need to find all the check my progress button and click on the green tick. So, create a database and table. Did I miss any step? Yes. If you don't get the green tick in one or two trials, then keep trying until you get the green tick. So, because if you followed all these commands or, or the steps here in the following way, then you are definitely getting the green tick. Because if you don't get the green tick, you will get the green tick. Now, scroll down, keep scrolling. Click on the check my progress, you will get the green tick here also. Scroll down, click on check my progress. Scroll down. This is the last one. Click on the check mark in my progress. And once you get the green tick, your lab is done. Congratulations. Simply click on the end lab button. Click on the end lab button once again. Give the star rating that you want to give. Click on submit button. Now come back to the main page to verify whether we get the green tick or not. So scroll down. Open the module. You can see we get the green tick in this lab. It means we successfully completed this lab. So congratulations. And if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you have any query, you can ask me in the comment box or on the WhatsApp group. Once again, all the important link is in the description box. Thank you very much. Goodbye.